Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sin Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. We got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called, Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again in your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, stuff like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 love quotes, okay? So, so this is directly on my website, and also, as usual, link is in the description below for that also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, The Power of Ignoring a Man, right, ladies? So this is the power of of ignoring a man so whenever you ignore a man there is so much power that you possess as a woman and we gonna get into that in this whole video so make sure you watch this video because it's a banger right i'm gonna teach y'all the importance of not caring about a man how to how to detach your feelings and the importance of being able to walk away and ignore a man, go no contact, and watch how fast he come running up after you. Watch how fast he get all his stuff together when it comes to you. Watch how fast he get everything together and he start putting in that effort that he was supposed to be doing in during the whole time, but he got lazy or he got too comfortable or he just never did it at all. And you want this man to act right. You want this man to commit to you. You want this man to respect you. If you want a man to respect you, commit to you, you know, never disrespect you, never hurt you, cheat on you, lie to you, whatever. The power of ignoring a man. I'm going to teach y'all why the power of ignoring a man is so important, right? So let's talk about it, okay? So the power of ignoring a man there are two things that come out of ignoring a man, right? The two main things that come out of ignoring a man is the fact that, number one, it creates value, and number two, it creates respect, right? So when you ignore a man, whenever you ignore a man, you create value on yourself and you create respect. So I'll explain why. First, let's talk about the first one. Let's talk about value. So the reason why you ignoring a man and you kind of distancing away yourself from a man, you kind of giving him that space and that time, he actually gets that time to actually miss you. He gets that time to make his mind wonder about you. It gives him time to crave you, to want you more, 
right? Because absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? You've heard that all your life, but you don't apply it to your relationships, Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So whenever you're absent and whenever you are away from somebody, a lot of times, don't they miss you more? You can't miss somebody if they're all up in your face. You can't miss nobody if they all around you. How can I miss you and I see you every day? How can I, how can I miss you and you always around me, right? So when you distance yourself away from a man, that creates value on you because when y'all do come back together after from being apart from so long, he misses you more and he wants you more. He craves you more, right? But when you're always there, sometimes that man takes advantage of you or he gets too comfortable and that's the reason why he treats you how he treats you because he don't feel like you're ever going to leave him. So the power of ignoring a man, it creates that value and then let's get into the second one. It creates that respect because what I just say, okay, you know, that man, that man feel like you ain't never going to leave him. That man feel like, oh, this woman, she ain't never going to leave me. You know, she loved me too much. She care about me too much. She ain't going nowhere. I got her wrapped around my finger. She ain't going nowhere. Right. But when you're able to walk away, pull back and ignore a man that puts fear in his heart. That shows that man that you not a game. That shows that man that you could be gone at any given time. So he better respect you, right? And if he don't respect you, he could lose you at any given time. Because you're going to ignore him. You're going to walk away. And you don't care about not talking to him. This is the power of not caring. Also, when it comes to ignoring a man, you also got to not care. You know, a lot of y'all women, y'all care too much. Y'all care way too much about why he didn't text me back. Why he ain't called me back. Why he don't want to see me. You know, he ain't reached out yet. He ain't came to see me yet. He ain't asked me out on no date yet. Because he don't want to. Or it's too early and he ain't got around to it. But either way it go, you should not be begging no man to want to do nothing for you. If he want to do it, then he going to do it. But you got to understand, the more you don't care and the more you ignore him, that's going to be the more he's going to be on you. But the more you're in that thirsty state and the more you're wanting him to want you, that's the reason why every single man that you want, you run them off. And because you're too clingy, you want them so bad, you do whatever for them. You're too needy, you're too desperate, you're too thirsty, and you need to relax. When it comes to a man that you like, I'm going to put it like this. Don't every single woman, a lot of women, a lot of y'all watching this right now, a lot of y'all, y'all act differently from the men that you don't want versus the men that you do want, right or wrong. Don't you act different? Between the men that you don't want, the men that you like, ew, get away from me. I don't really care if I want to, you know, I don't really like you like that. You're not really my type. Those type of men, don't you kind of act differently from with those men? And it's a whole opposite of how you act with the men that you actually do like. The men that you like, oh, I like you. You know, you're so handsome. You're so tall. You know, you make a lot of money. You this, you that. You know, you chasing up after those men. But the men that want you, that you don't really want. They chasing them after you. So you trying to figure out what what's going on here? What's the difference between why is it that the men that I don't want, the men that I'm like, ew, get away from me. Don't touch me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to give you my number. Get away from me. Those are the men that are all on you. Those are the men that want to call you, want to text you, want to see you. You know, they DMing you every single day. Hey, 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 can I take you out? You're so beautiful. You know, I'll do anything for you, right? But then you got that one man that you really, really like, and he don't pay you no attention. And he act like you don't exist. Or he mistreating you. He don't want to commit to you, stuff like that. So, you trying to figure out, how do I get the men that I do like to act like the men that I don't like? The men that I don't like, the ones I don't want, they chasing me. They want me so bad. They got to have me, but I don't really care about them. But the men that I do want, I'm chasing him and he don't really care nothing about me. So, how do I get that guy that I want to chase me just like the other guys that I don't want? 
to chase me that that they do chase me you know like how do i get the same type of treatment from the men that i actually like how do i get them to chase me right the way look at now look look ladies look it's two different ways how you act right with the men that you don't want with the men that you don't really like like that you're look how you acting you're acting like ew get away from me don't touch me you ignoring them ain't you and aren't you ignoring them aren't you ignoring them you ignore those men Every single time, the men that you don't really mess with, you text them back when you feel like it, you ignore them. When they call you, you may or may not answer because you don't really care about them and you ignore them. When they want to see you, you always say, uh, I don't really know, I'll get back to you or I'll let you know or I not today, I got something to do. Knowing that you ain't got nothing to do that day, you just ain't want to go with that guy because you don't like him. But... Keep in mind the fact that you ignoring him, what's happening? Look what's happening. The fact that you ignore this man, he chasing up after you even more. The fact that you ignore this man and the fact that you so busy and you so big, you too busy for him and you don't really care and you pick up when you feel like it, you call when you feel like it. You ain't tripping over when, when the men that you don't want, the men that you like, it'll get away from me when they don't text you back. You ain't tripping. You don't care. Like, let's say if you text them, you're not waiting by the phone, waiting on him to text you. You don't care. And guess what? When you don't care, they still be texting you, wanting you more. But then with the men that you actually do want, you text him back fast. Every time he texts you, you text back fast. You know what I'm saying? You calling him. You texting him. You reaching out to him. You chasing him. The men that you don't really care about, you don't never call them. You don't never text them first. They text you first. You let them come to you. So why don't you do that same exact tactic with the men that you do want? And that's how you actually get the men that you do want. The way how you get the men that you want. Y'all listen to me. Ladies, listen to me. The way how you get the men that you actually want to be with is to treat them exactly like the men that you don't want to be with. Because the psychology behind it is when you make a human being feel like they're not good enough, they will try harder to prove themselves to you because you hit their ego directly and the human brain does not value or does not register rejection. So because the human brain does not register rejection well, the human brain says, let me change that reality to match my reality in my brain. So if this person does not like me, for example, my human brain does not like rejection. So I'm going to make you like me. I'm going to love bomb you so you can like me. Or I'm going to do anything I can to, so that you can like me, right? Because you don't like rejection. So a lot of times rejection makes you try harder because it hits your ego and it hits your pride because you just cannot believe your eyes and you're just so shocked that something did not go your way. So you want to change that outcome, you know, because you're just so prideful and it just hits your ego because you don't like rejection. And mostly, especially with women, Women, a lot of times, I'm going to tell you about women, y'all. A lot of y'all women, women cannot handle rejection versus a man. A lot of men, they handle rejection better because a lot of men, they get rejected. They get rejected all the time, right? Men, men, they walk up to different women every day and get rejected a hundred times a day. You as a woman, you rarely get rejected. It's rare. It's rare. It is rare that you as a woman get rejected by a man because you know majority of men would sleep with you or majority of men that come, to, come in contact with you, they want to be with you or they do just want to sleep with you or both, you know? So you ain't really tripping, but for the average man, it's not like that. For the average man, he getting rejected left and right, left and right, left and right, right? So you as a woman, a lot of men don't really tell you no. A lot of men don't really turn you down like that, right? So when a man does turn you down and when a man does tell you no or when a man does ignore you, you can't handle it because it hits your pride and your ego because you ain't never been turned down before. Because every single man 
that come your way, you know they want to sleep with you or you know they want to be with you. So you got so big headed, you got so cocky, all these men want me, all these men want me. Oh yeah, I'm this boss girl, I'm so fresh, I'm so fly, I'm that girl, right? I'm that girl, but then you got that one guy over there that does not validate you. You got that one guy over there that goes against what all the rest of the guys are talking about. All the rest of the guys, they love you. They willing to do whatever for you. They bowing down to your feet, willing to do whatever for you. But you got this one guy that's ignoring you. So that's the reason why you chase him. You're chasing him because he ignoring you. Don't you chase the men that ignore you? It's the same psychology. The men that you want, you chasing them because they don't want you. Because they ignoring you. Because they acting like they don't really care about you. And it's hitting your ego, your self-esteem, your pride. And that's the reason why you chase because you're not chasing that man a lot of times. You're just chasing the validation that I got all these men around me that like me. But this one guy that act like he don't care about me, he, he act like I don't exist. He act like I'm just a nobody. But all these other men around me, they treat me like a celebrity. But this guy, he treat me like a nobody. So you know what? What's up with him? Let me make him be like everybody else and that's the trap and that's and that's the psychology and that's the reason why you chase that man so instead of you chasing that man you got to play that same psychology and instead of you being the one that that man is ignoring you got to be the one that's the ignorer you got to ignore the man instead of him ignoring you so instead of you being the one sitting by waiting for his text message and he ain't text you back all day and you stressed out how about you don't text back and you got these men stressing out over you? How about that? How about you play the games? A lot of y'all women, y'all don't want to play games. Y'all say, oh, Sid, I don't want to play no games. I don't want to play no games, Sid. It shouldn't be about games. Okay, well, guess what? That man going to play games all over you. If you don't play the game, he going to play the game for you. And he going to be running the game all around you. You got to play the game. This is the game of love, baby girl. You going to have to play. You got you to gotta pay to play. So you going to have to, yay. You going to have to play these games. You going to have to play these manipulation mind games to get what you want. That's why you ain't got what you want because I'm trying to teach y'all these mind games. I'm trying to teach y'all these manipulation to reverse it on the men because the man is always going to try to get his way. And he knows that if I ignore you, that's going to make you chase me. That's why he don't chase after you. He may actually, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let y'all ladies in on a little secret, right? Here go a little secret for y'all. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a let y'all in on a little secret. Don't, don't let nobody know that I told y'all, okay? This is top secret. A lot of men, they actually like you. They actually may want to be with you. They actually may want to be with you and make you their wife one day. However, they know that they have to play the game in order to get you attached. They know that they have to get you attached. They know they have to chase after you initially until they get you attached. And then they pull back and they ignore you. And now you the one chasing up after him. So now he got the power. So even if he know that he actually do care about you and he actually do like you, he know he got to treat you like he don't care to make you chase. Because if he don't, then he knows that he's going to be the one chasing you. So some men, they consciously know that they have to keep the dynamic going. So they do. So they ignore you. What I'm trying to say is they ignore you on purpose. Even if they like you, they still going to ignore you just to purposely make you chase. Because even if I like you, if I, okay, keep in mind, keep in mind, me as a man, right? If I know that I like this woman a lot, you are an attractive woman. You so beautiful, right? I think you just so beautiful. Me as a man, I naturally am going to want to chase you, right? However, I'm like, hold on. I don't want to be the chaser. Being the chaser is not fun, you know? So how do I get this woman to chase me, right? So I know that I cannot be thirsty or desperate over you or show you too much attention because if I show you too much attention and I validate you as a woman, you're not going to like me as much because you're going to be like, hey, you just like you're going to put me in the category like every other man. You're going to put me in the category as every other one of your fans.
every other man that's around you giving you all this attention. I'm not going to be one of those men. I'm going to be that other man that you chasing, wondering why I'm not on board like every other man. So I'm not going to give you that attention. Even though I really, really like you and I want you in my life and I want to chase you, I know that I can't chase you because if I do chase you, then I'm going to be forever chasing you. So, and, and, and it's going to be exhausting. So instead of me chasing, how about I get you attached and I make you chase me? So I'm going to just, you know, spend some time with you and then I'm going to pull back and I'm going to ignore you. So that's the, so that's the trick. And that's why you the one chasing up after him. But if you just would have just known to just be where you at and not care and ignore this man the whole time and ignore everybody just like they ignore you, you see how you act when that man ignore you. You see how you act. You going crazy. You can't eat. You can't sleep. You waiting by your phone. A lot of y'all women right now, y'all waiting by your phone right now for a text message that ain't never going to happen. You sending paragraph, paragraph, text, 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 double text, triple text. This man don't care. He ain't replied to nothing. He ain't called you yet. He ain't texted you yet. He don't want to talk to you. He don't care. You waiting by the phone for what? You care too much. You supposed to be the one that's 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 ghosting him. You supposed to be the one that he the one that's waiting by the phone for you to text him. He's supposed to be waiting by the phone. Oh, this girl ain't text me back. She ain't called me today. She ain't text me today. He's supposed to be the one can't eat, can't sleep, worried about where you at, what you doing. You supposed to be living your life. You got it backwards. You got to not care and you got to ignore the man how he be ignoring you. When you ignore somebody, that creates attraction and it creates value and it creates respect. I'm going to tell you, let's talk about the respect part. Now, it creates respect. Now, when it comes to respect, this is what happens, right? When a man is disrespecting you, okay? You can also you can also use ignoring a man, ignoring a man don't just create value, but ignoring the man is also a punishment. It's also a way how to make this man suffer without you. That's really what you want. You want this man to suffer without you. You want this man to have a punishment for his misbehavior because he been misbehaving with you. He been lying to you. He been cheating on you. He been cussing you out, calling you out your name, putting his hands on you. He been doing all types of crazy stuff about you, around you, and to you. Right? And you tired of it. And you say, Sid, how do I get my power back? I'm tired of letting this man walk all over me. I'm tired of this man putting his hands on me. I'm tired of this man cheating on me. I'm tired of this man lying to me. Sid, what do I do? How do I get this man to act right? Or how do I just get my power back to just walk away? Either way it go. The number one thing you got to do in this situation when a man put his hands on you, when he mistreats you, when he cuts you out, when he cheat on you, lie to you. The number one thing to make a man act right is you got to put fear in his heart that he could lose you forever. When you put fear in a man's heart that he could lose you forever, because this is the thing. When a man know that you'll always stay, if I know I can put my hands on you and you're still going to stay, if I know I can mess with a thousand different women and you still going to stay, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep cheating on you. If you're going to keep staying here, I'm going to keep cheating. But when you leave, I know I can't play with you. So if you stay, I'm going to keep doing it because you ain't going to go nowhere. So why would I stop cheating on you if you're not going to leave me? If you're never going to leave me, if you're never going to leave me, why would I stop cheating on you? I'm only going to stop cheating on you if there's some consequences behind me cheating on you. It ain't no consequences behind me cheating on you, so I'm going to keep cheating. That's why you keep getting cheated on. That's why he keep lying to you. That's why he keep putting his hands on you because you ain't left nowhere. You ain't went nowhere. You still right there looking at him in his face, giving him everything. Giving, 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 giving. Giving your body, giving your time, giving your money, giving everything to this man except for a consequence. The consequence should have been no contact. The consequence should have been leave him alone, walk away, ignore him ignore him 
block him, delete him, walk away. Do not tolerate certain things from certain men. Don't tolerate it. If it offends you, if it disrespects you, if it hurts you, harms you, or makes you unhappy in any way, shape, or form, cut that man off, period. Ignore him. Cut him off. Even if you got temporarily ignore him, a lot of y'all women, y'all don't pull back. When a man mistreats you, y'all be right in his bed that same night. This man cheated on you and y'all talked it over and you in his bed the same night. No, you got to punish him. You got to put that man in timeout. That man, he need to be in timeout. Put him in timeout. You know what I'm saying? And ignore him. He need to suffer without you. He need to have some time without you. He need to have some time to miss you. He need to have some time to think about what he did to you. A time to know that you may not be in his life any longer. So he going to be scared and terrified of losing you because he's going to feel like you gone. And that's going to make him chase after you and want you more. So this is how you get your power back. When you ignore a man, and you may say, Sid, okay, but I ignore him. I ignore a man and I do be ignoring him. But what if he never come back? Or what if he, he take a long time to come back? When is he going to come back? You as a woman, you ain't supposed to care when he come back. Why would you want him to come back? He just put his hands on you and, and stuff like that. Why would you want him back? He just cheated on you, messed with a whole bunch of other women, had sex with them raw, had sex with them unprotectedly, and then going to lay up with you the same night. And you want him back? He lied to you about everything about him, and you want a liar back? Why do you want this man back? You got to ask yourself that question. Why do you even want this man back? A lot of y'all women, y'all want trash back. I'm going to tell you right now. You want him back and he trash. That man that you want, he trash. He garbage. Dumpster. Garbage. Like recycling. He not even good enough for the recycling. He is garbage. Sewer. He is sewer. He's not even the recycling. He is the sewer. The bottom of the bottom trash. And you laid up with him and you want him back. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. No, don't leave me. You, you more afraid of leaving this man and he trash. You so afraid of leaving him, but you ain't even getting nothing positive in return. He don't even do nothing positive for you, but give you a headache. That's the only thing he give you. And that's not even positive. That's the only thing this man give you is a headache. You don't get nothing positive. You can't even name nothing that you benefit off this man. Nothing. So you chasing up after nothing. Half the time, you're not even chasing up after nothing good. You got to chase. Don't even chase nobody. That a man who is quality needs to be chasing you. Not you chasing no men. Stop chasing up after these men and stop putting these men up on a pedestal higher than you. You got to not care. If, if this man don't never come back, oh well, who cares? Why would I want you back? Cheater, liar, you going to put your hands on me? No, why would I want a person that puts their hands on women? I don't want no man like that. Why would you want a man like that? You should not want no man like that, period. And if this man don't never come back, oh well, oh well, you cannot care. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. This, this game, this love game ain't for the weak. I'm going to tell you right now, ladies, y'all got to start being a little more heartless. Y'all got to take your heart and take your feelings and throw it off to the side because your feelings going to get you hurt. Y'all got to be heartless. Y'all got to be some savages out here. Y'all can't care. Men don't ever care about y'all feelings, do they? Do men ever care about y'all feelings? No, they walk all over you, step all over you and treat you any type of way. A man will do you any type of way, get you pregnant and leave you. A man will do you any type of way, put his hands on you and act like ain't nothing even happened. A man will cheat on you and mess with a whole bunch of other women and bring you back something. Men, men be doing all types of crazy stuff to y'all. And y'all don't be needing to go through that. Stop putting yourself in that position to go through that. And stop letting men treat you any type of way without it being no consequences. The consequence need to be ignore him, block him, delete him, kick him out your life. Because you deserve better. That's a consequence, ignoring him. Ignore him. You got to give him some time to, to think about what he did 
It ain't about, oh, if he don't never come back. No, you want to give this man time so that he can think about it. And you may say, but Sid, it's not working. It's not working. It's working. It's working. Give it some time. It might, it might not be when you want it to. It might be a few months. It might be, it might not be till next year. But guess what? Men always come back. Don't they always come back? Don't all your exes always come back? They always come back. So you worried about, is this man coming back? Sid, is he coming back? Is he coming back? I don't know if he's ever going to come back. He coming back. Stop crying. You crying. You always crying over a man. Stop crying. You was a grown woman crying over a man. That looks so That looks so sad. That's look, that looks so crazy right now. You look crazy right now crying over this man and you a grown woman. Go find you something to do instead of crying over some man that's trash. This man not even doing nothing positive for you. He not paying none of your bills. He, he not making you a better woman. He not making you happier. He not putting no money in your pocket. He not spending no money on you. He not doing nothing. He not contributing nothing to your life positively. Period. He not motivating you. He not supporting you. What you got this man around you for? You wasting your time. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of y'all women, y'all wasting y'all time. Y'all need to reevaluate the men that are in your life. A lot of y'all women, you messing with trash and you know it. You know it and all your homegirls know it. They just don't want to tell you. All your homegirls, they just being nice to you. But they looking, at your, they looking at your man right now like, girl, you can do better. And you probably looking at your homegirls like, girl, you can do better. Because all y'all women can do better, but y'all don't. Y'all don't be doing better for yourself. Y'all settle. And y'all need to stop settling. Y'all need to stop and stop allowing the man to mistreat you without it being no consequences. You got to ignore him so he can miss you. You got to ignore him so he can suffer without you. You got to ignore him so he can see what life is like without you. So he can really regret losing you. You want to make a man regret losing you? Ignore him. Put fear in his heart. He need to be terrified that you moved on right and then when you ignore him do you live your life you know what i'm saying live your life stop being tied up and tied down to this man that's not even your man especially if y'all ain't together you can still run off and do what you want to do because i guarantee you he doing what he want to do he messing around he messing around with all these other women but you sitting right here being faithful to him and he ain't even made you his girlfriend so you gave him the commitment without the commitment like women, what are y'all doing? Why do y'all commit yourself to a man before he make you a commitment? Before he could before he put a commitment title on you, why do you commit yourself to a man so early and he ain't deserve it? I'm asking y'all a question. Stop stop committing yourself so early. Stop chasing. Let him come to you and you can't care. You always got to be in a position to walk away. If you don't get what you want, if I, hey, if I don't get what I want, I'm gone. Period. I'm gone. It ain't no back and forth. It ain't no negotiation. It ain't no nothing. If that man don't make you happy, if he ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing, if he not treating you right, I'm gone. Bye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. And I'm moving on with my life. Because I don't have to be here. Because I know my worth and I love myself. A lot of y'all women, y'all don't love yourself. That's why you can't. That's the reason why you can't never ignore a man. You can't ignore him. Because it eats you up inside when you ignore him. Because you cannot handle not talking to this man. You can't handle being alone. You can't handle pulling away from him. Even though he disrespects you in your face. Even though he put his hands on you, even though he cuss you out, call you all types of names, treat you like you dirt. He treats you like you nothing and you afraid of losing him. You can't even walk away from him. Even when you do get mad at this man, you can't even handle being away from him for too long. Even though he disrespects you, you still go run back to him. How does that sound? He put his hands on you and you gonna run back to him. He cheated on you and you go run back to him. What are y'all doing? Why y'all running back to the enemy? He is the enemy. That man is the enemy. Ladies, y'all laid up with the enemy right now. A lot of y'all women, y'all laid up with the enemy. He trying to bring you down. And you chasing him after him? You need to be ignoring him. Ignore. Ignore. The word of today in this video, ignore. Ladies, say it with me ignore 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 this man goodbye 
Kick them to the curb. Kick them out your life. Stop having trash around you. You need to clean up the trash. Take the trash out. Take the trash to the curb. Take the trash to the dumpster where it belongs. Don't be having trash in your house. Don't be having trash all around you. Because that make you a trash woman. If you got trash around you, that make you trash. And you not trash. You a clean woman, right? I'm assuming you a clean woman, right? So if you a clean woman, clean women don't have trash men around them. So don't have no trash men around you. Clean woman, okay? So you got to ignore the men, all right? So I'm going to tell y'all about the no contact rule, right? So when y'all going no contact, I'm going I'm to basically give you what the no contact rule is. The no contact rule is basically who do not care about who the most. Anytime you're in a relationship, one person is always going to care about losing that other person a little bit more than that other person is afraid of losing them. It's just facts. Somebody going to be the dominant one. Somebody going to be the submissive one, the more recessive one. Somebody going to be top dog. Somebody going to take the back seat. Somebody going to be the leader. Somebody going to be the, the yes, okay person. Somebody going to be the driver. Somebody going to be the passenger. Anytime you put two people together, it's going to be an alpha. It's going to be a beta. So anytime you're in a relationship with a man, you have those two people together. You have either an alpha man or an alpha woman or a beta man or a beta woman, right? And you mix and mingle each with whoever, right? So if a man is an alpha man and you are an alpha woman, you two are trying to basically get the power in the dynamic subconsciously. You might not even realize it, but you do certain things to get the power. Who, who going to chase who? Who going to reach out to who? Who chases who? You know, you kind of have that dynamic set up, right? Who is the prize? A lot of times when you do no contact, it's who is the prize, Somebody, one of y'all is the prize, right? Both of y'all can be the prize. You may say, Sid, ain't both we the prize? Yeah, y'all both, okay? Y'all both are the prize. But somebody's still gonna be chasing somebody. Somebody gonna be a little bit more heartbroken if y'all break up than the other person. Somebody's life gonna be, somebody gonna be able to move on and not even care or, or somebody able to move on a little easier than the other person, right? Because the other person may be, you know, a little bit, you know, carry, carry more feelings or stuff like that. You never want that to be you. The person that is in the weaker position, the person that is chasing that person is in the weaker position. So do not care when this man is ignoring you. You cannot care. If you care and you reach out to him during no contact, when you reach out first and you break the no contact, whoever breaks the no contact first is the loser. Whoever breaks the no contact first, you just show that other person, I need you more than you need me. I could not go no contact longer than you. You can go no contact longer than me, but me, it eats me up inside to not have you in my life. So I cannot go no longer without talking to you. So I need you in my life and take me back, right? And now that other person who lasted during the no contact, that other person who lasted and did not reach out, as soon as that other person reaches out to them, they got all the power. They got 100% of the power. They can do whatever because now you come to me. Now it's on my terms because I showed you that I don't care. I showed you that I don't need you. I showed you that you need me more than I need you because I showed you that I don't care more than you don't care. You may say, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I'll walk away. Okay, well, I'm going to show you that I really don't care and I'm going to really pull back and I'm going to really go longer than you without talking to you because I don't care. It don't, it don't make me no difference. My bill's going to be paid regardless, right? That's the mentality I'm trying to get y'all women to have. My bill's going to be paid regardless whether you call me or not, whether you send me a text message or not. My bill's still going to be paid, so I don't really care whether you text me or not. Y'all got to stop caring about a man texting you back. Stop caring. Just send your text. Like, if he don't text you back, oh, well, we just not going to talk, right? 
You need to be the one not re not replying. You need to be the one not texting back. You need to be the one ignoring. Stop letting the men ignore you and you be the one to ignore the men. You got to be the one to not care more about losing him than he care than he don't care about losing you. That man may act like he don't care about losing you, but you got to pull back even harder and show that man that you really don't care about losing him. You better be like, oh, you don't care about me? Okay, let me show you I don't care about you. You got to give a man a taste of his own medicine. A lot of y'all women, y'all do not give a man a taste of his own medicine. Y'all, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what y'all women do. A man will disrespect you, cheat on you, lie to you, disrespect you, put his hands on you, cuss you out. A man will do all these things to you and you still going to be laid up with him. You still going to cook and clean for him. You still going to do whatever he say. You still going to do his laundry. You still going to do all this stuff even though he mistreats you. You still going to be there for him. You still going to give him your body. He still get your kitty cat whenever he want it. Whenever he wants your kitty cat, whenever he want to smash you, Oh, he can get it. But whenever you need something, he not there for you. That's what y'all women do. Y'all women don't never, ever, ever give a man a taste of his own medicine. Y'all need to start doing that. Give a man a taste of his own medicine. Show him, oh, you want to ignore me? Oh, you want to play games with me? Oh, I love games. I love games. You want to play games with me? Okay, let's play a game. Let's play a game called Who Don't Care the Most. Let's play a game called Oh, You Want to Ignore Me? I bet you I can ignore you even longer because I'm going to show you that I don't care. Right? Because you got me messed up. I'm not going to be chasing them after you and you ignore me. I'm going to ignore you back even harder. So anytime a man ignore you, the, the way how you reverse it is you just ignore him harder. If you ignore a man harder than he ignore you, you just reversed He's ignoring because sometimes, like I said earlier, this man, he is ignoring you on purpose. He trying to get you to chase him. He know that if I ignore a woman, she can't handle rejection because she think that every man want her and she think that every man desire her and she think every man need her. So when I'm that one man that don't need her, that's going to make her chase me. And it happened every time. It worked every time. If you want to, I could tell any man, ladies, ladies, I'm going to just be real with you, okay? I could tell any man, if you want to get a woman's attention, if you want to get a woman to chase you, if you want to get a woman to want you, if you want to get a woman to be wrapped around your finger, you know what you got to do as a man? You know what a man got to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Not even try. Fill her head up with lies and don't do none of none of the stuff that you say. <laughs> that's that's what I would tell a man because it's so easy for y'all women to just get manipulated. And y'all gotta stop getting manipulated. But if I was a coach for a man, I could tell a man, hey, all you gotta do is fill her head up, sell her a dream. Fill a woman up, head up with some lies, and she gonna believe it. Or be around her so much she gonna get attached to you and then just pull back, you know? Wine and dine her, give her, give her so much, give her a lot in the beginning, and then just stop, cut it all off. And then she's going to be like, what happened? What happened? You was all, you was doing so much in the beginning, and now you just stop. What happened? And now she's going to be chasing up after you. It happened every time. If you want a woman to chase you, just ignore her. When you ignore a woman, she, guess what? She can't handle that. So she's going to be chasing up after you if you ignore a woman. So men... Keep in mind, ladies, men know this. Men already know this. Men already know this. A lot of men, they consciously know this. Just like I'm telling you that I consciously know this, a lot of men consciously know this, that you can get any woman you want by just simply acting like you don't care. <laughs> like, it's that easy. If you act like you don't care, she cannot handle the fact that you don't care. So it's going to make her want you more and try to prove herself to you to care about her because you don't care. So if you want so if you want a woman wrapped around your finger, you just got to act like you don't want her and she going to try to change your mind. She going to try to chase your validation because she's trying to change your mind so bad to want her. So you just play with the woman's ego. You just play with her emotions and then she going to be all on you, you know. So but that's what it is. So you as a woman, 
a lot of men, they're conscious. I'm trying to tell y'all they know this. So, so the way how you get around all this, I'm teaching y'all how to get around all this is you, the only thing you got to do is not care even more. The only thing you got to do is pull back even harder. If he go no contact, if he don't talk to you, however long he don't talk to you, go that same amount of time. That same amount of time. If he don't talk to you for three days and then all of a sudden he contact you, okay, guess what? I'm not contacting you for three days. Then I'm going to contact you, right? Whatever that man do, do the same thing. Treat him the same way. And I bet you he won't like it. And I bet you he'll be chasing up after you. I bet you that make him chase after you because he ain't going to like them games. Because when the games is played, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, huh? It ain't no fun, huh? When the rabbit got it, it ain't no fun. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you flip the dynamic. You just got to not care more than he don't care and show him, hey, hey, you act like you don't care. Oh, let me. Oh, you want to play games? I love games. Let's play a game. I can show you I don't care. And that's when you just cut him off and you ignore him. You pull back. You go no contact or you completely walk away and cut him off forever. If he really disrespects you or he really hurt you, that's when you know I got cut it off for good. And I got to really walk away for real. But for a lot of stuff, you could just ignore him and that's going to make him chase you. Just like when he ignore you and you chase him. He going to be tripping over you, worried about why this girl ain't text me back. Why this girl ain't call me? Because he worried about you and you ain't worried about him. So the law of attraction is act like you don't care and they want you more. Focus on yourself. They want you more. Ignore them. They want you more. Just like the men that you don't want, the men that you like, yo, get away from me. Don't touch me. You not my type. You ignore them and they want you more. The man that you do want, he ignore you and you want him more, right? So the man that you actually want, the man that you want to be with, the, the man that you're like, you're so handsome, you're so fine, I want to be with you. You chasing the back to them because they ignore you. So the key here, y'all see the key here is when you ignore somebody, they chase you. Y'all see the pattern, the men that want you, you ignore them, they want you more. The men that you want, they he don't want you, and he ignore you, and you want him more. So every time somebody get ignored, anytime somebody get ignored, it make that person want that other person more. Because it's like, how you going to ignore me? It's their ego, they pride. Anytime you ignore somebody, you mess with their ego, they pride, their self-esteem. And their self-esteem cannot handle rejection. So they try to change their reality. So they try to chase harder to, to change your mind because they want to change your mind because they can't handle the fact that it's this one person that don't like me. I got a billion women around me or I got a billion men around me or if you a man or a woman, whatever. I got a billion people that like me, love me of the opposite sex that want me. But this person right here act like I don't exist. So how do I get their attention? How do I get them to like me like everybody else like me? Now I'm chasing them because I'm trying to get their attention so that they can want me like everybody else, right? And that's the trap. So y'all see the trap. So the, so the point of this video is whenever you ignore a man, he will want you more, period, right? So ignore the men that you actually want. Act like you don't care. Get around to them. You know, hit them up whenever. Or the men that are disrespecting you, you got to give them a consequence. Men that's cheating on you, lying to you, hurting you in any type of way, you got to give them a consequence behind their actions and teach them a lesson. So you teach a man a lesson by cutting him off, pulling back and ignoring him and making him suffer without you and getting him a chance to see what life is like without you. So he can run around with all them little chicken head girls. He going to run around with all them little chicken heads, all them little chicken head girls. He going to run around with them and he going to see that every other woman was never and can never and will never be nothing like you. Because you was a queen and he would never get that because he messing with them peasants. He, he ain't messing with no queen no more. He messing with them peasants. And that's all he'll ever get, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
That was the power of ignoring a man. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.